In 1989, designer and programmer Tim Skelly developed four new battle mechs for Virtual Worlds Entertainment's Battletech centers. These mechs needed to be modular in nature, allowing multiple configurations to circumvent existing technical limitations, leading to the creation of four Omnimechs, the Madcat, Vulture, Loki, and Thor. Initially, these designs were written as Innersphere mechs, but in 1990, rules were released for the tabletop as part of Technical Readout 3050, along with an expansion of the now Clan Omnimex, although no official models appeared for another four years. Robert Charette, Battletech designer, author, and sculptor, experienced the Battletech pods used for the Battletech centers during development and later set out to make his own versions of the original Omnimex years before any official models were released making these prototypes the first tabletop incarnations of the Loki, Vulture, and Mad Cat, although the Thor was not produced. The largest and most complicated of the three prototypes is the Loki. Sculpted from a variety of different miniatures, Charette achieved an accurate depiction of the Loki that holds up well against the first official sculpt and the modern designs. As with all the Charette Omnimac prototypes, the Loki is based on a 1986 Ralpatha lead hex base, and uses parts from the Battletech Warhammer 6R, the Battle Droids Marauder 3R, the Battle Droids Locust 1V, and the Battletech Archer 4R. The Warhammer Marauder and Locust were sculpted by Charette himself, and I have been unable to identify the sculptor of the Archer. The torso is constructed from the 1987 Warhammer from the Battletech line. Among many of these miniatures, there seems to be confusion between the Battle Droids and Battletech versions, so I'll try to keep them distinct where possible. The torso has been cut down at the hips, and the weapons modules repositioned to create the Loki silhouette. Some sculpting work with green putty has been utilised to remove unneeded detail that does not appear on the Loki, and to tidy up the connections of the shoulder weaponry. The arms are taken cleanly from the Marauder 3R. Tracking down the specific Marauder miniature was a little challenging, as there were a number of Marauder sculpts in the 1980s with variations between them. There are two Battle Droids versions, round and hex-based, and a Battletech one. The arms appear to be identical between these three versions, so it is not entirely possible to identify the exact source. Charette trimmed down the underside of the weapon, giving it a unique side profile, with an octagonal barrel. The hips and legs are taken from the Archer 4R of the Battletech line, and cut along the top of the widest point. It should be made clear that this archer is 20-815V1, which was later replaced with the bombardier. The legs were then attached to the Warhammer's torso. To complete the Loki silhouette, weapon modules from the Battle Droids Locust 1V were used on the hips. The Vulture prototype is another impressively accurate interpretation. Created from a few different parts, this Omnimech features more sculpting work throughout. The Vulture uses parts from the Battle Droids Warhammer 6R, the Catapult C1, either Battle Droids or Battletech, the Battletech Rifleman 3N, and the Battletech Archer 4R. The body is from the Archer 4R. Given the removal of its hip section, it is possible that this is the very same miniature that provided the Loki its legs. The hips appear to be sculpted entirely from scratch. The disc-like shape between the legs that forms a structure seems to be solid metal, and the rest appears to be modelling putty. The arms are a very complicated construction made from the original Warhammer 6R, combined with a barrel from the 1986 Rifleman. The Warhammer arms have been cut towards the base of the arm and rotated about 45 degrees, attached with what appears to be sculpting putty. The small secondary barrel is taken from the 1986 Rifleman 3N, another charrette sculpt. The main difference between the Battletech and Battle Droid Rifleman barrels are a single smooth barrel attachment or a ribbed attachment. As such, I believe that this is the later Battletech version. Legs are taken from the Catapult C1 cut down to the large joint. The legs have been swapped around as shown by the right-sided raised leg. Charette also cut into the legs to give it a less blocky structure. I am not certain if there is any real difference between the Battle Droids and Battletech Catapult, uh, but if there is, be sure to comment below and let me know.
the most simple of the three miniatures is the Mad Cat. At the time, the name Timberwolf didn't exist, but then neither did the clans. The Mad Cat was made in true form from just that. A Catapult C1 from either Battle Droids or Battletech, and a Battle Droids Marauder 3R. The Catapult's legs have been shaved down identically to the Vulture, a touch of the body with a new hip construction shape from Modeling Putty. The Marauder's arms have been attached directly to the torso behind the missile pods. As with the Loki, the weapons have been cut down and reshaped. These prototypes are an incredibly interesting piece of Battletech and Miniatures gaming history. They remain impressively accurate to the contemporary official models from Richard Kerr and John Garrity. It would be possible today to replicate these kitbash curiosities for yourself, but due to the cost of buying all of the needed unseen miniatures it probably wouldn't be worth it. But if you do have some old 1980s Battletech minis burning a hole in your pocket, you can give it a go for yourself and retread the first steps of a Battletech author and visual artist who helped shape the feel and aesthetic of the Battletech universe.